progression from one step, two step, to three step, that you're just adding one more math operation that you are very familiar with from elementary and junior high years, and you're utilizing them into, with variables, creating these linear equations and solving for them. Now, this is the third step. This is using the distributive property. And this is the formula, A times, in brackets, x plus b equals c. But we could rewrite this, and I think we will, because this really means a times x and a times b. So you could rewrite it that a times x in brackets plus a times b in brackets equals c. So that hopefully will sort of simplify matters. Now, we're going to take a look at this sample equation. 8 times in brackets 2 plus x equals 32. Well, if we take this, you know that what we just did with that equation, that means 8 times 2, and then it means 8 times x. And if you're wondering, why did I put a plus sign here? It could be a negative. And if it was a negative, this would be the symbol that would be in this bracket section. So 8 times 2, let us rewrite this, plus 8 times x in brackets equals 32. So 8 times 2, use your calculator if you need to, is 16, plus 8 times x, we can rewrite just as 8x, equals 32. Now this was a little different, I rewrote it or I put this equation a little different just to mix it up a bit so that you realize that you can take, you have to sometimes work from different angles from left to right. So here we have positive 16. It is understood as positive because there's no negative sign in front of it. So whenever you see the number. Now the opposite of positive 16 is negative 16. And what you do to one side, again, you have to do to this side. So you now have this being zeroed out, this be equaling, sorry, I've got to double check, 16, sorry. And now you're left with 8x equaling 16. So now you're back to that two-step process where this is straight multiplication, and now you have to... Do the opposite. Divide by 8, divide by 8. This zeroes this out. x equals 16 divided by 8 is 2, and that is your answer. But to double check and make sure that it is your answer, you are going to run a check from your original equation. So we put now, wherever there's an x, we put 2. So this equation is 8, 2, plus 2 equals 32. So this really means that you are 8 times 2 and 8 times 2, so we will do this. And 8 times 2 is 16, plus 16 equals 32. Now, order of operation, what's in the brackets, you can do first. So we could also, let's put a big or here because you can put it this way. You can do 8 and you're putting it into the original equation equals 32. Well, 2 plus 2 is 4, so 8 times 4 equals 32. And you know that 8 times 4 is 32. So 32 is 32. So that you absolutely know that that is your correct answer.